what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and today i have for you a quick video i'm just starting to deep dive the new college football 25 game and i figured let's just get out a video giving you guys some stuff to know about ahead of time if you haven't already gotten the game you know maybe you didn't do the pre the the deluxe version and today we're just going to talk about the abilities i'm going to show you all the abilities that are available in the game and that's that's about it so let's get right into it so there's a nice spot here on the game that shows you every ability. If you go over to the more settings here, hit abilities, and it'll give you an entire list of every ability in the game available. There are a lot of abilities on this list, and you will see that they have different categories or, or different levels of what they will do depending on the type of caliber of player you have with the ability. So for instance, here, Mobile Deadeye, it's a physical ability with bronze when on the run outside the pocket, slight accuracy boost to wide receivers up to 15 yards downfield. Silver when on the run outside the pocket and it goes up by how many yards. And then if you get to platinum, it's ultimate accuracy boost to any receiver. So obviously this is for a quarterback. And if you have a platinum quarterback with Mobile Deadeye, anytime that they're on the run, they are gonna have ultimate accuracy to any receiver, no matter the hell, yardage downfield or nothing. So obviously that's gonna be a very good thing, but that's how all of these work. So every one of them has a little bit of a better ability, the higher up the tiers go. For, for house call here, bronze, slightly improve ability to catch interception attempts. Silver, moderately improve. Gold, significantly, and then platinum, ultimate ability to catch interceptions and attempts and unlimited stamina on returns. So. Obviously you want your best players to have these abilities. And if they are a platinum player or gold player, they're gonna have much better chances of using those abilities properly than if they're bronze or silver. But hey, it's still an ability regardless of what kind of player it's on. So all of these are gonna be useful in one way or another. Arm bar, slightly improved ability to break tackles when using stiff arms. 360, ability to fake out defenders with spin moves. Head first, ability to break more tackles when using truck moves, step up. Improved accuracy when stepping up into the pocket and not under pressure. I like that they have detailed abilities, right? Because some quarterbacks are good at certain things and others are not. And if they could be good at a, a slight part of that and not the rest of it, right? So like in Madden, it was just like, oh, all outside throws, you have perfect accuracy all the time. But what if somebody is maybe better when, for instance, they step up in the pocket, you know, they, they feel a little bit more urgency. They have more confidence. They, they can deliver better. Those kind of things that show that they took a lot of detailed approach to this and they really thought about this. Sleight of hand, increased ability to fake defenders using play action. Magician, more agile and standard pocket movement. So quarterback might be able to move a little bit better and more fluidly back there when you're in the pocket. Off platforms, accuracy boost when throwing a cross body or back foot. Safety valve improved. So that's like the same one as Madden has, you know, the, the backfield, like the running back, fullback, that kind of thing. Pocket shield, improved double team pass blocking, extender, ability to break sacks, first defensive backs. This one, especially if you get up to gold and platinum, you have ability to not just do defensive backs, but all defenders. So it's not just defensive backs. So it's it's sort of like uh, the one from Madden, but beefed up essentially. Knockout, increased knockouts and less broken tackles on jumping catch attempts by the offense. Duress, increased pressure affects the quarterback when unblocked and in front so that's sort of like under pressure from you know madden 24 hammer improved ability to land hit stick attempts wrap up protection from broken tackles on standard tackles so just better tackling ability from your linebackers and whatnot shifty increased ability to maintain speed during cuts and turns when moving at high speeds Sidestep, improved ability to fake out defenders with juke moves. Layout, improved ability to secure dive catches. Takedown, increased ability to prevent broken sack attempts. 50-50, positional advantage, slightly improved 1v1 jump balls. And then it goes down the list as to you know, how much of an advantage you get and then also how far downfield you have to be in order for it to kick in. Balance, slightly improved ability to break strip attempts improved ability to beat impact block attempts for blow up bouncer fatigue opposing route runners when performing a chuck in zone coverage that could come in handy especially with this new wear and tear system that's in the game jammer ability to press receivers at the line of scrimmage blanket coverage improved cut reaction and man coverage mobile resistance improved ability to resist pressure on the run recoup improved fatigue recovery when off the field increased composure gains on the road that's going to be very important from what they said 
being on the road is going to have an effect on your team. It's not going to be like Madden where it doesn't matter if you're home or away. So having those kind of abilities is going to be a very important step with your players in order to have long-term success on the road. Winning time. Increase composure with two minutes to go when the score difference is three or less. Fan favorite. Increase composure gains at home. Headstrong. Hot routes being incorrect and slight composure protection from Stadium Pulse. So this one essentially um, negates the, the things that like road games will do to you. Right? So like if your composure is low, it's going to essentially give you less of a chance of having an incorrect hot route or something along those lines. Right? So that's that's good. I like how they have it incorporated with the stadium system as well. That's really cool. Resistance, this one sort of looks like it gives you better protection from your line. Standing in the pocket, slight protection from medium pressure. Standing in the pocket, moderate protection from medium pressure. So the better the player, the more protection it boosts the offensive lineman to keep the pocket clean for you. Dot, accuracy boost when throwing to open receivers. Pull down, improved ball security when sacked. Sidekick, improved cut blocks when in pass protection. Field general, when on schedule, ability to see post-snap blitzers. So that's pretty good. Option king, accuracy increase on quick pitches. Workhorse, protection from wear and tear effects when colliding with other players. So that one, that is another one that might really come into handy a lot, especially for running backs. If you get a workhorse ability, the wear and tear system can really take these guys out of the game if you, or make them a lot worse than what they are. So workhorse is something I'll definitely be looking out for. Downhill, more broken tackles after reaching max speed. Sure hands, improved ability to avoid drops. Cutter, improved cut moves against man coverage. Double dip, improved cut moves against single man coverage when running double move routes. Press pro, improved ability to beat press attempts. Quick drop, improved movement on standard pass plays. On this one, it looks like it's for linemen. Yeah, pass block, m blocking movement on standard. Yeah, okay, so that one's for linemen. Option shield, improved blocking on option plays when close to the line of scrimmage. Inside shield, improved double teams on inside runs when close to the line of scrimmage. Screen enforcer, improved blocking on screen plays. PA shield, improved blocking on play action attempts. Second level, improved blocking against the second level of the defense, so your linebackers. Outside shield, same thing, but for the outside runs. Inside disruptor, improved shedding against single blockers on inside, and then of course, outside disruptor. Then you also have option disruptor. So for option plays, and then here is one just for pocket disruptor for third and fourth down situations. Strong grip, boost to lateral shed prevention on run plays. Okay, that's that's sort of good. How many times you see that where you think you have a lane and all of a sudden that, that defensive end or outside linebacker just breaks through and just annihilates you in the backfield. So ground and pound, pancakes on run plays add slight fatigue to the engaged defender. So that's nice. I like that they're really incorporating a lot with the linemen here. Grip breaker, increased lateral sheds on run plays. So that's for defense. Wear down, pancake blocks on pass plays add slight fatigue. Aftershock, increased wear and tear effects to opposing players on tackles. Robber, improved movement in zone coverage. Ball hawk, improved ability to break after a pass has been released. Take off, quicker release off the line when not being pressed. So that'd be for receivers. Quick jump, quicker jump off the snap when pass rushing. That'll be a really good one for your edge rushers, especially if you have speed rushers. If you're on a 4-3, that's you're gonna want that for sure. Quick step, improved movement as a pull blocker. Clear headed, protection from composure loss. So again, that composure is gonna play a very key factor in these games and in these dynasties for your players week to week. So these kind that help protect your composure might end up being a, a really important thing to look out for when you're bringing on players. Clutch kicker. Easier accuracy timing on field goals with two or less minutes. Deep range, easier accuracy timing on 50 plus yard field goals. Mega leg, chance to avoid the penalty for over kicking on all kicks. Coffin corner, easier accuracy timing when punting from midfield or closer. The natural, improved ability to resist weather impacts. Team player, protection from negative rating impacts for players out of, for playing out of position. So that's, that'd be nice, especially if you get some of those guys that are like athletes and they're gonna play a few different spots for you or something like that. I mean, that's that's a good one to have. Best friend, composure gain for the quarterback when making a first down catch on third or fourth down. So that is gonna be for your pass catchers. When they make big plays for the quarterback in certain situations, you'll, you can, you know, 
gain more composure quicker. Defensive rally, slightly increase composure of other defensive linemen. Offensive rally, composure gain for other offensive linemen when performing a pancake. Legion, composure gain for other defensive backs when intercepting or deflecting a pass. Field trip, better accuracy timing on punts from own 10 yard line or further. And chip shot, easier accuracy timing on short field goals. And then of course, when you are trying to find players that have these different abilities, what you're gonna to wanna to do is when you got on your recruiting board or looking at your prospect list, when you go here, you do have to scout them initially, but once you scout them once, as you'll see here, I'm gonna go back, let's go to Dean Drango here. It has nothing over under the mentals and that's where you're gonna find them. And then you just hit scout for 10 hours and it sometimes gives you all of them. Sometimes it only gives you a few, like this one here gave me one fan favorite. But if you look at Cushionberry, it gave me all three right away. So that is essentially where you're gonna be able to find these at. And let's see if we get them all now, if we go here. Oh, we did not, but we do know that his trucking is an 84 and his acceleration is a 90. And then of course you'll have a, a thousand hours to start with at the beginning of the year. So you can scout as many players as you can fit under there. So yeah, but as for the abilities, guys, that's all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show the different abilities that are available in the game. Go over that. I will have a lot more stuff coming on all of this different stuff. I'm gonna be deep diving the CPU stuff. So that way you guys in my community that enjoy the CPU versus CPU play have some or some good videos to see to help you guys out in your own dynasties or your road to glories or whatever you're doing. But as for this video, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the fact that NCAA is here on the channel now, Make sure you let me know down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. There's going to be plenty more coming out. And turn on that bell notification. And I will see you guys next time.